One of the great features of Detect It is its ability to use our analog module to take information and signals from many different devices and use them in all of its limits analysis. This module is developed and sold by Karen Engineering. It's a USB connection to the PC and it has four channels of analog. These channels can measure voltage or current loop and can be used for a whole variety of different sensors. One of the problems on machine tools is that there's oftentimes movement in certain axes or different mechanisms and it's important to know how much movement has happened and potentially adjust the part program to compensate for it. One of the applications that works really well is the use of a displacement sensor. This is a sensor from Keons that allows you to install it anywhere on a machine and measure movement or displacement down to a really high accuracy. It can be either manually moved or pneumatically pushed in and out. The displacement probe connects to a module. This is a digital display module that actually displays the movement of the probe. It allows you to preset and set ranging. This module connects to the analog module of Detect It using a 4 to 20 milliamp current loop signal. So now we're going to show you the application. This yoke it's got a certain amount of movement to it that we have to make sure positions within a certain tolerance. Here the sensor is actually measuring the position of the yoke. So as we actuate the yoke, you can see that the sensor is measuring how far the yoke moves each time. In this particular case, the yoke is within the boundaries or tolerances that we've specified. Now we can see an example of what happens when the yoke has gone outside of the parameters. In this case, the CNC control again starts the analysis and it's monitoring. Now the CNC commands the yoke to clamp and you can see that it's now exceeded the maximum limit. Detect It has actually set a variable to an alarm condition. The CNC part program will interrogate that variable, determine that it cannot operate and move any farther in the program because the yoke has moved too far. Another great application for a displacement sensor is to measure areas of growth on a machine an axis, a particular slide, or even a headstock. The sensor can be placed appropriately so that you're measuring the displacement over time. So as thermal growth happens, the sensor is measuring the displacement in real time and detected is sending that information into a macro variable that can be used by the CNC part program to adjust positional data. This is a different application for displacement. Here we're going to use a bloom scanning probe to measure the accuracy or integrity of a surface. We're using an analysis and detect it to set limits. The scanning probe will continually measure the surface and determine whether it's within the boundaries or parameters that we've set and inform the CNC control if it exceeds those. So now the machine tool is positioning the scanning probe to scan the surface. The analysis was started by the CNC. As the probe scans the surface, you can see that it's already exceeded the under limit or the low level, and it also was lower than the upper limit. Basically, the scan showing that it existed within the parameters or the tolerances that were specified by the user. If they had exceeded either one of those, an alarm would have been generated to the CNC control informing the part program. Another advantage of Detected is its historical view. Here, we can go back and look at that same scan and see that the scan operated within the tolerances that we wanted. If there were any anomalies, we could also see where in the scan the anomalies happened and where the limit may have occurred. So if you need to measure displacement and get the values and the status of that into the CNC control, Detected is a very simple application that will allow you to do it.